All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we created an estimate, but it looked pretty plain. So let's spice it up and let our estimate better represent your brand. So let's get back into it from the dashboard. Let's go over to sales and we're going to click on we're already on customers right here. Now on the far right where it says create invoice, let's go ahead and click on create estimate. And what we're going to do is we'll just have a couple, I don't know, this service or this and that, uh, one hour, let's just get to it. What would happen? Did we hit the I button? Sorry about that. Pause for station identification. Hours, one hour, $10, this and that. Check out here on the bottom middle, click on customize. Now it's broken up. We're gonna go to new style. Do you want to leave without saving? Uh, sure, we can get back to that. Doesn't take that long to type in one hour. So it's broken up into, okay, four create estimates that turn heads and open wallets. I like that. So we've got design right here, content, emails, and payments. We'll just call this uh, template one, just like that. Okay. Or uh, example one. Now there's a bunch of things you can do. Um, so we've got our design, our content, our emails, and payments. For design, it's how we want it to look, our color, our logo. I'd imagine your company has a couple of colors that represent it. These colors may be on your logo, your decals, your uniforms. Let's upload an image. I've got my old Village Park Source logo just like that. I like that. The color is a little bit too bright. Um, I'm going to go with the darker green. I like that. That's good to go. Uh, get choosy with your font. Let's go from Helvetica to... Times New Roman and Times New Roman, and let's make it a little bit bigger. When in doubt, print it out. I'm good in that department. Let's content. Maybe some of the stuff we need, some of the stuff we do not need. It's got three little pencils over here. That means we can edit this information. Maybe you don't want to have your phone number on it. Maybe you don't want to have your business name. Uh, form numbers. We can unclick that. See how that's gone there. Uh, kind of your call. Emails. This has got. Sorry, we'll go back to content for a second. You can get rid of some of this stuff. You've got it broken down, your rate, your quantity, your amount. If you have a lot of products and you need a SKU number, you can add it in that regard. I want to go back to design and really fast, I want to change the template though. I don't like this. I think friendly is the most professional. Click on friendly. Eh, let's go with bold. No, it's going to waste too much ink. We'll go with modern. And I know we can move our logo around a little bit. We're gonna put that over there, estimate middle. Just kind of play around with it. There is no right or wrong. Uh, emails, this is kind of your, your stock, what it's gonna say when it shows up in their email. Here's your invoice. No, let's go from, click on that, down to estimate. Dear blah, 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 full number, please review the estimate below. Feel free to contest contact us if you have any questions we look forward to working with you thanks for doing thanks for your business i can't read right now i haven't had my coffee and then it's got the subject in here use full name you've got a couple more options and that's kind of the gist payments is over here uh you know you show bank transfer free i don't think you could do paypal oh you can do paypal i like that and we are going to click done and we saved it as template one. So if you ever go back to estimates, let's go on, what happened here? Uh-oh, am I paying my internet bill? So we're gonna go back to customize again and it should show up, template one. There it is for all your other estimates. You don't have to keep recreating that every single time there's an estimate or an invoice. Invoices kind of work the same way. If you guys want a tutorial for that, let me know. That is how you create a custom estimate in QuickBooks Online. Good luck with this, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.